In time, um, I will start the meeting. Welcome to the uh, Zoning Board of Appeals meeting of the Town of Concord, Concord April 13th. Um, I, as we typically say, we appreciate everybody to uh, be stay muted, keep the cameras off, um, and we'll call on people um, as uh, as we open up for a public comment or for a uh, or for an uh, an application. Um, starting off with a roll call, Mr. Smith here, Mr. Faia. Here. Mr. Swain. Here. And Taylor Kinnaman's chair is here as well. Um, so let's uh, start off with the uh, first, no, no, let's start off with getting uh, one item out of order, which is the mill run, uh, and, and this administrative business mill run PID special permit open space and conservation restriction administrative amendment. Thank um, you. <laughs> um, so as a uh, administrative item for the mill run PRD, um, I don't know, can you see my cursor on the left? I, yes. I can. Yes. So the open space area was defined as this area and the conservation restricted area as part of the common open space was all of this area to the right of this line right here. Um, the community very much wanted a community garden um, in this area right here. And the decision was very specific as far as, far as the area in open space area B and the area in open space A. And under the state's requirements for a conservation restriction, you cannot have this type of use of a community garden in the conservation restricted area. So the applicant is just looking to change the area that's within the conservation restriction to exclude the community garden. This has been reviewed by the Natural Resources Commission, the Natural Resources Director, and accepted by the state. So we just felt it was appropriate to bring this back to the Board of Appeals as administrative item, just to acknowledge this change in the open space area. The total area does not change, just the area within the conservation restriction and the area within the common open space does change. So this doesn't change the access from one side or the other to the other? No, nope, nope, okay. it doesn't change anything. The, the public trail remains the same. Um, it's existing. It just changes the total area. The total common open space area remains the same. It's just how the division between common open space and the area within the, co the conservation the formal conservation restriction. Uh, um, any any other questions from the board? So what are you looking for here? Because you talked about acknowledgement as opposed yep. to. Um, yep. So it would just be a, a vote of the board to um, administratively approve uh, the change in the distribution of the common open space between the common area and the conservation restriction. So moved. Second. Okay, all those in favor, Mr. Smith? Aye. Mr. Faia? Aye. And chair votes uh, aye as well. So Thank that's, you. that's that. Uh, good luck. Um, I now uh, recognize Elizabeth Akerhurst Moore. Hi. And Sorry about hi. that. My computer was updating. Am I? Uh, are Are you going to continue as chair, Theo, or is that? Um, no, not really. Okay. <laughs> well, all right. Well, thanks for doing that first one. I appreciate that. Um, 
Have you I, done? I, a, I did. A I did the difficult one for you. Yeah, that's very. <laughs> have we done a roll call vote? Just yes. Okay, yes. great. Um, I'll add myself to that then. Um, I am here. Um, so the just to finish the administrative business, we're not voting on the March twenty third minutes because they are not. They need to be looked at some more. So we will do that next time. Um, so moving on to our 7 p.m., uh, the trustees, who is here for the trustees? Is it Michael? I am here. Hi, how are you? I'm well, how are you? And I got Hi. my colleague Catherine here with me too tonight. Hi. Um, so we are starting with the small outdoor events. Um, and if you want to go ahead. That would be great. Sure. I mean, so both of these are renewal permit permits for the most part. So we've had two permits that have been broken apart in the last few years where one is for small events um, of about 50 in size and then over 50 for larger events. Um, the small events we've been doing on a three year uh, cycle for these. Um, and this is just, you know, regular operations at the old manse. Um, the larger events is the one that's changed a tiny bit, uh, and this year we've uh, we had considerable communication. I think at a meeting. Okay. Years ago. Can we? Do you mind us just do one at a time? One at a time. Yeah. Sure. Just... sure. The small events is 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 fairly business as usual. It's um, events fifty and under, uh, educational purposes, and um, pretty much outlined in in this narrative. Um, it's basically just a, a regular renewal. I didn't see any changes. Was there any changes to your letter from last time? No, there's no changes in the the, the narrative or the details of that permit. Okay. Um, any questions from the board? Uh, are they willing to accept the same conditions that were in their prior special permit? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Um, Paul, have there been any issues with this? You may no, want to admit nothing, no complaints. You may or may not want to no admit okay. the letter itself, which is addressed to Elizabeth Akers more than this. And Mr. Smith. <laughs> well, of course I noticed that because you look for your name first, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. that might show how little has changed in it that we were, you know. We... Oh, no, you changed the first part. You just didn't change the dear chair, Smith, but that's all right. Um, Okay, uh, any other questions from the board? All right, let me go ahead and open to public comment. Any public comment? Okay, I'm gonna close public comment. Um, seems pretty straightforward to me. Um, I have no issue uh, renewing this. And then the only uh, the only question would be whether we have, whether the board has any appetite to uh, lengthen the term. Uh, go from three to five, for instance. And I don't, you know, I, I given that there was little or that there was no um, issues over the last uh, three years, you know, we had a little bit of pandemic in there. Um, but, you know, I'd be willing to extend the, the period. I guess it kind of goes along with whether what we want to do with the second one, too, whether we want to have them come back, you know, whether we're willing to extend the large events also for the same period of time if they're going to be back either. So I don't know. For some reason, I'm on the fence about this one. That's why I was bringing it up as in, yeah. as in like suggesting it, but like. Yeah, know, yeah, no, I think wanna... it's a valid point because we don't really discuss it much when it comes back to us anyway. Um, I, I don't, I, I, I'm with Teo, but I think it's, I would totally split it from the other one. In other words, I'd want them back more frequently for the large events. Okay. Thing. That's fine. I was just thinking administratively for them, they're going to have to come back for the large events anyway. Then that's that's well, fine. I mean, I don't know that we're limited to five. We could make it six, right? And they could just yeah. Um, any other thoughts? What are you? How much? What? How? What's the period you're asking for in the in the one that's going to come next? The larger events. Yeah, that's a, a we're asking for three years. It had been on a trial basis for one year for the past three years in a row. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're just I, trying to sync up the two applications because it becomes a little bit burdensome to- Yeah, that's you know, what I was thinking. 
So if we, we stick can... with three in this one. It's going to kind of depend on whether we go three on the other one. That was. Right. Um, well, that's why I was going to suggest. I think we either do three or six, and they don't have to. Then oh, they... oh, oh! I see what you're saying. You're doing it in increments <laughs> of three. I get it. If yeah, um, I'm fine with six. I'm still mine. So. All right. Can I so, get and I, and I think that, and I think that, so I'm going to, I'll move this, <laughs> that we grant the renewal of a special permit to, to the trustees of reservations. We grant a remo renewal of a special permit under sections 4.3.1, 4.3.4, 5.5, 4.5, 11.6 of the bylaw to hold small outdoor events under 50 people at 269 Monument Street. And I'm just going to note for the record that you know, one of the thing that we will extend that for six years based on the fact that um, first, there haven't been any um, incidents, complaints, et cetera, et cetera, with respect to the, the activities. And secondly, um, that they are able to accommodate all the parking for the activities on site, which is which is stated in the in the application. But I just want to emphasize that. I think that's what distinguishes this from the other um, application. Yeah, with, uh, with the same findings and conditions of the last uh, yeah. formal permit. And I uh, second that motion. Great, Mr. Smith. Aye. Mr. Kinnermans. Aye. And Ms. Akers more. Aye. That's great. All right, moving on. I'm going to be honest. I must be looking at the wrong thing because what I have for this is from November 30th, 2020. Was there another, was an updated one on that? You mean the you're talking about the narrative for the next one? Yes, which I guess it, I can go ahead and open the next hearing. Are we? Yeah, we're at the right time. Um, yeah, the but, the letter is from November thirtieth, indeed, twenty twenty. Okay, so what we have in front of us, because I know you just said that things have changed, but what we have is from November thirtieth, twenty twenty. And it talks about your Patriots Day or Day. Did you submit a new letter? Yes. We don't have it. So I'm not sure why, because we submitted and updated. Um... Haley, is that? Um, that we're that's, gonna... that's what we received. I Let me take a look and just oh, make that's... sure there's nothing else in the folder, but. Yeah, yeah that's what on the website, what is on the website. Yeah, because I saw the COVID thing and I was got scared. Yeah, well, the the, the, appl the application is from fe uh, February twenty. Right, but sorry, the narrative, the letter okay. is from November thirtieth, twenty twenty. And the right. and the permit is and they've added the permit that was done in twenty two. Right, special permit from the. Yeah. I'm trying. Yep. To... That's that's the narrative that was submitted to us. Okay, well, I don't know if we want to just go ahead and listen to, I mean, why don't you guys go ahead and explain what was going to change in this, and then we can take it from there. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm looking at, it and I think maybe just the the date at the top is wrong, but if you look at the, there's... No, um, Michael, the, the narrative that's on the website is definitely not the one that we rewrote. I'm looking at it right now, too. Shoot. So something must have gotten confuse um we can submit another narrative i think we were essentially looking to submit the same um permit and request with some small differences so in the past couple of years we had separated the smaller events and the larger events into two different permit requests the smaller events were on a three-year cycle the larger events were on a one-year cycle so we've come back the last two years and have um, created a narrative that was based on specific events due to the pandemic. Uh, those specific events and cases of both of both of the past two years didn't actually happen for the most part because we weren't able to do large events. And I think the challenge that we were finding is that we were doing kind of a lot of work and um, getting very specific with it. And then it was kind of limiting us to not being able to operate any events if uh, an opportunity arise. So the way that we rewrote the narrative, and I'm sorry that it didn't come through, was to um, try to adjust the cycle first to be 
that both permits were on a three-year cycle, and then also to try to adjust um, the effect that we had specific events before and to really say um, we would operate a finite number of these events, which I think we included as six specific events and um, left the restrictions similar and actually the same to what they were before around those events, but um, to not call out those events specifically as we did before is to say like uh, river fest or, you know, old home day or, you know, those specific things because it, we found it just kind of was a waste of everybody's time to, to put forward this and then not actually have those events. So, um, yeah, that makes sense. You said there was back and forth about that. Was that just back and forth amongst yourselves or with Elizabeth or? No, I mean, we actually, with Paul, we had submitted, oh, we had submitted, um, a couple different versions, I feel like, of a narrative, but I don't know where this got lost. Sorry, I'm a little flustered that they... Um... Yeah, I, I can't find it, Michael, you know. Uh, I, don't, I don't see it. I could I could send it now, but I don't know, like, that's not official anymore. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I mean, uh, <laughs> let's, how does the board feel? Um, what, should we, what should we do? Should we discuss it on those grounds, or... The concept doesn't bug me to have it more open, um, subject to the same restrictions. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. What? No, you know, it, it, you know, I'm I'm with you, uh, Elizabeth, but I do want to still see a correct application before I vote on. Uh, on yeah. Well, the the other the other thing I know from looking at the permit that was issued the last time was that not only did we talk about the events as these seven events, but then um, item five, if you look at the permit that was it's attached to the our materials here, um, says parking for each event shall be provided as described below. So A, Patriots Day, you're gonna do X. Earth Day, the parking lot is close to the public. A detailed parking plan will be developed with Miscadequit Arts and Environment. Home Sweet Home, parking shall be located at Sergeant Fields with a special use permit. So in other words, every the, the original permit that we did actually specified the parking in a different way for different kinds of events. Mm -hmm. well, I'm sure you took care of that, but I'm just, I'm saying that from my point of view as a board member, I just, I feel like that it's it's if the only change in the entire thing was to say we're going to do seven six events but we're not going to name them then here's a parking plan that applies to all these events that would be one thing but where you have individual parking plans i think that it's hard to say that we have enough information to grant it so i'm happy to hear i'd be happy to hear them i'd be happy to see if there's anyone in the audience who would like to talk about it but i think at the at the end of the day we're going to have to defer this yeah yep that makes sense um so well uh, do you have anything uh, to add uh, to uh, the oh sorry yes tom uh, no no uh i'm i'm acting as clerk for one of the subcommittees for the 250th celebration which is 2025 and query whether some of the activities that they they have described the trustees have described in their prior application. Should there be any consideration now for whether or not those events will be in conflict with, supplementary to, whatever? Because I think there is concern by the executive, I'm not on the executive committee, but I believe there's some concern on the executive committee for the 250th celebration about crowds and traffic, et cetera. So I just raise it only because I'm aware that people are th thinking about it. Yeah, excellent point. So Which that I guess, would, go ahead, yeah, sorry. No, I was just thinking that probably needs to be called out then in the narrative and when you're talking about specific parking plans, I, but those events are gonna be lasting for months. So I don't know how you kind of- well, call It raises the question about whether or not whatever we grant would be granted for 20, um, four, and then you'd have to come back and say we've coordinated with everything else. Because my recollection from the one of these times that we did this, and there was a lot of, um, as you know, there was a lot of 
concern, I would say, among various citizens. Um, and I think you even had the National Park Service um, representative, and I don't know. Yeah, that. BJ Dunn, our, the superintendent at the time, I think came yeah. and spoke on our, our behalf. I, I did, I, but I, I think I'll take Tom's point <clears throat> that, um, you know, it feels like, I guess I'd say a couple things. It feels like we have to see a, a, what we want to do here for now. I think I agree with everyone that, that I'm very happy to have it be not specified. So, I mean, the specific events, I, I'm okay with that. But from what I'm hearing, I guess I'd be urging us to say at the end, it'd just be one year for now. And then let's do something targeted to the two, 250th because you're just part of it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, the parking situation is pretty like finite for us because we've only got 15 spots in general. So it's like, right. I think if for any of these events, we're we're pretty comfortable with putting the restriction of we're not able to have these events without direct permission from the National Park Service for additional right. parking. Um, yeah, I agree with Jim and Tom. Um, why don't we do this unless there are other comments from the board why don't we open a public comment see if there's any out there and then we can discuss continuance and and what we'd like to see is that are there any other comments from the board okay let me go ahead and open to public comment are there any public comments i see no public comment i will close public comment um yeah, no, I mean, I'm reading the old narrative for each of the days and I agree it's very specifically set out. And obviously I know what you mean about your parking being finite, but I would also be more comfortable deferring the 2025 discussion. Um, so that being said, um, I guess we need to see the updated narrative and it sounds like we are leaning towards just granting it through 2024. Is that the kind of board's consensus? So. Yeah, I think so. That so that will be for two years then, right? Yeah, 2023 and 2024. Um, it's fine. You love coming here anyway. So we can I do. <laughs> and we love and having you. So. <laughs> Makes it easier on Zoom. Yeah, and at least we've we've we it will get us through Monday. So I think that's you know what our priority is right now. <laughs> wow, it's happening. No. <laughs> All right. Um well it's gonna get you through Monday for a small event, right? Wait, you have this through. What do you What are you doing on Monday? I mean, we're we're open as a house, but we are also just like the landing spot for a lot of humans, you know. So we're not actually actively having programming outside of our house, but uh, we're just trying to make sure that we're yeah. So everybody's approved. <laughs> right, right, right. No, no, I know what you're saying, but but isn't that in the permit that's not approved? Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but didn't that permit expire? Well, I think that's what he's worried about. Yeah. yeah so I'm oh, okay. I thought you said we're at least getting it over with. I'm like, no, we're we're not. <laughs> um, well, but except I don't know if you know the fact that their house is opened. I mean, I'd like defer to the building inspector. Yes, let's defer it to Paul. But but the but the fact that the house is open, but they're not advertising any special event other than the fact their house is open and it's Patriots Day. It seems to me that you know, I I don't know that that qualifies as holding a special event for the purpose. I don't know the answer to that. No, no I would. I would, I would the fact that they applied for it before, but what Ravi? Did Ravi say something? Did no, you say Paul, something? Yeah, who said something? Paul. Yeah, I don't think that's oh, a special event. You know, if they're right. for Monday, yeah, I don't. I think we should all agree to agree on that yeah. for Patriots Day and then come back for the 200 plus or whatever we're doing, the, the large events. Um, so we would continue this until Haley, tell me the date and time. Um, May 11th and 7 uh, 25. 7 25. Does that work for you? The applicant? Yes. Great. Um, can I get a motion? So moved. Second. All in favor, Mr. Kindermans? Aye. Mr. Smith? Aye. And Ms. Akers Moore? Aye. All right. Well, good luck with Patriots Day, and we'll see you next month. Okay. Hope to see you all there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night. Yeah. Okay, moving on to Bradford Street. Who is here to present for that? Bahero? What did I say? Bradford? What did I say? You said Bradford. Oh, the company is Oh, Brad I said Bradford Street LLC. That's why I didn't read the whole yeah. thing. I'm here for Bahero. Street. Yeah. There you go. Sorry. Bradford no Street LLC. Hello, I'm Hi. Samantha. Um, so I was looking to have a essentially a personal training studio, a fitness studio uh, within 40 Bahero. It falls under the special permitting as a personal service. So I submitted the special permit forms. Um, I have a question right off the bat. I looked at the table of uses and it didn't look like a special permit was needed. Am I reading something wrong, Paul? In the West Concord Industrial? No, the spe special permit was definitely needed, Elizabeth. Yeah, I'm just- Wait, um, where is that in the zoning bylaw? So maybe I'm looking at something it's 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 on a personal service shop, personal service. Right, personal. Did anyone else see this in the? I, I agree with Elizabeth. I was I didn't see SP anywhere in the table for personal service shop in any district. Neither did I. I saw that it was allowed in the in um in, in the industrial. It said yeah. yes on the table of uses. Well, maybe because under 5316 that she applied, it's only if conducted solely for the benefit of the employees on the premises. I saw that, but it seemed to be in conflict with the table of uses, which seemed to suggest that it was allowed as a use on its own. Um, Give me a second. I know I'm trying to grab my Sony. Now, not opening. Um, Wouldn't the specificity of that provision off, uh, override the table of uses? So it's in the West Concord Industrial, right? Yep. Yeah, personal service shop, a special permit. Where does, where are you looking that Bravi and I at least are not looking in? 4.5, the table of uses. Under business uses? Oh, 4.5. 4.5. Uh, hold on. Personal service. Yeah. Now that I just updated my thing. Oh, so you're looking at 4.5.2, you're saying personal service shop? Yes. So uh, principal use is the use. industrial special permit. That's it's a principal use, not a special, not an accessory use. Yeah, right. it's a principal use. It's not accessory to anything. Uh, okay, so we were just thrown off by the by the fact that it says yes under the table of uses. Okay, hold up. Well, no, because it's an accessory. We were looking at the accessory use table because yes. that's what the reference in the agenda says. Whereas if it's a uh, different table, okay. so that well, that was yeah. a fun exercise. Um, <laughs> I figured you were right, Paul, because I can't imagine you would have us hear this, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I had to well, ask. We would, uh, so some, at least Robbie and I made the same mistake. Yeah. What? Samantha thought the same thing, and we, we went, I went over it. Oh, see, Samantha, we agreed with you. Um, <laughs> so you were already operating? Is no, that... I'm not. I, oh, you're... Uh, so I created the facility, meaning like I moved all my equipment in, painted everything like that, flooring. Um, but then I approached uh, Paul to see if I, what this town, because I've opened in two other towns, but nothing ever in this town. So I just didn't know how this town worked in terms of getting an occupancy permit or things like that. And that's when I found out uh, that I needed a special permit. Okay. Um, and in your narrative, it said there would be a total of uh, eight people at a time. Is that eight customers yeah, at a time? Roughly, yeah. Roughly. I do have small groups. Okay. And in terms of the parking, Paul, does that work for? Yeah, there there is no parking for that building, Elizabeth. It's it's um a similar case came before the board earlier, uh, later last, or, I mean mid last year with the Boston dog, they had, yes. uh, they had a similar situation. So there's, there's public parking all around the building, but the building pretty much takes up the whole lot. So there is there is really no parking with that building. Okay, so we'd have to waive the yeah. Whatever. What are the requirements normally for? Yeah, I think for that space it's ten. 
and okay yeah one one for every 200 yeah okay one for every um, 200, yeah. okay well now that that's all clear um comments from the board Paul, your general thought on the on the parking around there. I, I visited this site many times, Elizabeth, and there doesn't seem to be any problem with, with the parking there. Is there's actually more bicycles parked in that area than cars. So there's, there's ample parking along the, the parking for the Bruce Freeman Trail. Okay. Um, let me open a public comment and see if anyone out there has a has an opinion on this. Um, anyone have any comments? Okay, no comments. Um, any other discussion from the from the board? Seems like a pretty reasonable use of the space to me. If Paul's comfortable with the parking, um, I'm not sure if there's any conditions we'd want to put in, like limiting the number of clients at a time or anything like that. But I don't feel strongly about it. Yeah, it feels like that's maybe self limiting with the with the space. With the, with the yeah. site, yeah. Samantha, it's it's maximum eight, right? But is it typical to have less than that? I wouldn't even say it's max eight. I if I'm running a small group, it's roughly seven or less. But I mean, typically, I really don't see more than maybe four in the space at a time, and that's not all day long. That's running yeah. various class times and things like that. Okay. okay. Um, Elizabeth, I don't... how late how late would you want to run? Or at least have a permit for running. Is there a limit that you'd have to? Do we have to put a time limit on it? I'm just curious because I don't, I don't, I'm not sure, but I would because since you have the apartments nearby, I'm not sure you'd want that going on at nine, ten, or eleven at night. I don't know. It's an industrial. I wouldn't have bought. I'm not opposed to it, but I think it's somewhere else at least raise the question. I guess my response would be if we haven't heard from any of the abutters um, and it's a small number of people and it's in within an enclosed space, do you not particularly, I mean, do you, are you blasting music or making tons of, right? Yeah, it and I, and, I'm and not I think concerned. What, what Jim also just mentioned, it's, I mean, it's an industrial uh, zone, right? So what normally, what is your latest time that you run classes? Uh, typically, just a couple of clients at, after the work day, so maybe eight at the latest, because people have to get out of work at five and then travel over five thirty, and then a couple of clients in a row. It's nothing excessively late. So we could grant it with um, checking in on it uh, after a year or so, if if that made you more comfortable, Tom. Or I'm not uncomfortable. I just. Uh, no, I, I would think, I, I just think I wanted to raise it to make sure people had focused on it for a second. Yeah. In, in your narrative, Samantha, you said the last session will be 6 to 9 p.m. Is that still the case? Uh, it's 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Is that what you just said? No, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., 6 to 9 p.m. Oh, my latest classes? Yeah, that's what you have that in your, in your narrative. Yeah, that's why I just said I was assuming my latest client would come in at about eight. So yeah, usually an hour session would run to about nine o'clock. Okay, yeah. Um, I have no issues with it. Um, unless anyone else does, I'd be ready to I accept don't, I don't. Motion. I don't. I'm good. Great. So I'll make a motion to uh, issue a special permit for uh, to Bradford Street LLC on the sections 5.3.16 and 11.6 to convert a space into a personal training fitness studio at 40 the Harold Street. Second. Right. Great. All in favor, Mr. Kindermans? Aye. Mr. Smith? Aye. Ms. Akers Moore, I good luck with it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. No problem. Um, All right. Jim, is this your last meeting? It is my last meeting. Oh my goodness. No, I no, I, we, we I'm... just we just continued uh, the trustees. Oh yeah, so you have to Jim, come back. Jim, I'll right? come back next. Okay. Week. All right, so great. Be, All right, you're back. Be somebody... I'm actually gonna recuse myself from this Tom, next meeting. Tom was Tom was oh. here. What? Well. All right. Well, I'll let you guys have my mm -hmm. comment. So I'm going to leave the meeting because I um, will refuse myself from this because I have a conflict. Um, 
Jim, it's been wonderful working with you. If I do not see you again, I have learned a lot. Thank you very much. And if you want to stay on, please do. <laughs> it's been my uh, <laughs> utmost pleasure. It's been That's terrific. With all, working with all of you and all the people who came before you and I was first on the board. This has been a great, this has been a great uh, board. So oh, okay. I am, but I'm also happy to be <laughs> moving along. I think, I think, that, I think the real, <laughs> I, I really truly believe that the rule and concord of limited time is, is just is really worth is really important. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you again, um, Theo. I guess that means you're on. Yeah. All right. And, thanks, everyone. I'll see you next month. Okay. Thanks. thanks. Bye. Take, take care. Um, next uh, meeting: first Paris in Concord uh, for a special permit. Um, who will kick this off? From the yeah. applicant. <clears throat> there are two of us here. I'm Fred Van Dusen. Can you hear me okay? We're actually yeah. sitting outside your meeting room. We didn't realize this was a Zoom meeting. <laughs> so, but it's fine. Um, do you want me to read the narrative or what, what would you like us to do? Um, uh, a little presentation of uh, what you are planning to do or why we, uh, okay. why you would like us to issue a special permit. Right. The short sure. version. Yep. So we're planning a democracy festival that will take place on the grounds of First Parish Church in Concord on Saturday, May 20th. Um, we've actually changed the hours since the narrative. It's actually gonna be from 11 to two, so a bit shorter. Um, the event will be outside unless the weather's bad, in which case we'll move it inside. Um, we'll start setting up probably an hour or two beforehand and we'll definitely have things taken down an hour or two afterward. Um, Parking will be on the street and in town parking lots. It shouldn't be any more parking than uh, we usually have on a typical Sunday church service. Um, and we do have some handicap parking that we'll set aside. We expect a few hundred people. We're not sure how many, um, probably mostly church members, but there'll be people from outside the church as well. And it's really meant to be a community event. We're trying to bring people together to have fun, eat good foods, uh, local foods, um, learn about current issues facing democracy, some of their social justice issues. Um, it's intended to increase civic engagement and build community. Um, so we've got food provided by local restaurants. It's actually uh, Nash, which I think is why she basically got out of it as yep. well as well as Camilla's. And we may have a food truck not yet to be determined based on what's happening with the town bylaw or whatever that is. And there'll be some things for kids to do. It's meant for all families, all ages. Uh, we'll have some government leaders there and uh, it should be a fun event. Excellent, excellent. Um, any questions from the board? Are you expecting to have any amplified sound? Um, there, as... Yeah, they're, they're, we're planning on having a DJ with, uh, with some music, but it would not be very loud. It was mm -hmm. meant to be background music because we want people to be able to hear each other. Okay. There may be some singing, but it would be a group sort of singing without amplification. Mm -hmm. And it's, you mentioned it was 11 to 2, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other questions from the board? If none, open it up for public comment. Any, anybody from the public? who wants to speak. I'm not seeing any hands. Okay, close public, close the public uh, input session. Um, it seems pretty straightforward. It does look like there is, you know, it's, it does look like there is about the same amount of people have a, 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 a larger Sunday service. There is ample uh, parking, public parking available in the area as well. So I personally don't have any uh, objection to this. Say yeah. And by me. Mm -hmm. See if they can remove the snow from time for the thing. <laughs> oh, after, after today. <laughs> So um, we have a motion. Let me see if I can. 
find the reference. If you've got it, Robbie, go ahead. Well, I don't want to deprive you of your opportunity to have your last motion. Ah, I see. <laughs> well, that's, that's certainly good. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. Um, now. Oh. oh, here we go. I'll find it. Give me one more, sh one more second. Well, it's my last one. So what the heck? <clears throat> so I would move that we grant a special permit to the first parish in Concord uh, under sections 5.4.5 and 11.6 to hold a one-day large event on uh, May 20th, 2023 at 20 Lexington Road between the hours of, I think it's like 11 and 4, right? I mean, that's the sort of total. 11, 11 to 2, we said. Okay, 11 to 2 with, yeah, but you got the cleanup and stuff, right? All right, good. Yep. Uh, I'm going to give you 11 to 4. People will talk. Uh, 11 to 4. Uh, second. And all those in favor, Mr. Smith. Aye. Ms. Faya. Aye. And chair votes aye as well. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, Jim, I, I really want to echo what uh, what Elizabeth just said. Um, I'm very sad to see you go. Um, I learned so much from you, uh, and I'm just continue to learn. And I'm, again, again, I'm sad to see you go because there is still so much to learn. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you so much for that. Well, I, I thank you, Teo, and and I, and you know, I think this is the sort of continuing sort of river, right? So, um, I learned from John Brady and um, others who were in ch that chair position. Um, I learned a lot from you know people all throughout the town in terms of handling these meetings. Um, it's been a pleasure to work with you guys. Very, very, um, you know, wonderful thoughts, um, and I think that. It's always, it's just, a, I've been now on the planning board and the finance committee and the um, public works commission and the zoning board of appeals and, and each one of them have been really terrific. I mean, well, um, well staffed <laughs> by the town, you know, Paul and, and your predecessors and Elizabeth and everybody else. I mean, it's, it's very easy to uh, be a board member in this town um, because because everyone works hard and because you know you know you can tell that people are treat the people who are making the applications are treated um, with a gr great amount of respect and and collegiality among the town uh, staff and among the board and I think that's I think that's you know what we need to do to make it work. So thanks for all of this. And um, and I and I've I, the one thing I was supposed to recuse myself on was the Concord Art uh, thing next week or next month, because my wife's on the Concord Art Board and I didn't even have to do that because we'll be hmm. I'll not be here. Good. Well, good luck and hope to see you around town one of these days. Oh, absolutely. Maybe I'll come on a site visit. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Maybe I'll Good see you on there. a run out there. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Take care, everyone. Bye -bye. Okay. Take care. Bye -bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. We're adjourned. Yes. Okay.